A few weeks ago, I uploaded the first part of the Trackmania Iceberg Trilogy, and in case you have missed it, I highly recommend you to check it out, because some of the terminologies that will be used in this video have been explained and detailed in the previous episode. Now that everything is ready, let's dive deeper than previously to find even more Trackmania lore. We are already on the fourth layer called Deep Waters. Now we enter a level of the iceberg where you have to play the game almost daily to know what you are going to hear about. Big cars and one lap multi lap cheats. Using Open Planet, a TrackMania scripting tool, some players found that they could exploit the access it gives to the internal game state to cheat records. For example, the world record on TM2 Stadium AO3 was beaten by Lufok made their car giant right before the finish. This and a number of other features were carried over from arcade game modes available in Trackmania Turbo, but remained hidden in Trackmania 2. Lagoon A10 was beaten by Thoranger who wondered whether he could simply change the number of laps required to finish a map. He did not expect it to actually work, but it was sent to the leaderboards and counted as official. Both incidents were non-malicious and happened to happen on consecutive days. Techno and Plasterek's sister story during the cheating scandal in 2021, a story around one of the suspects, Techno, was shared on Scrappy's Twitch channel. As it goes, Techno dated Plasterex's sister, who, at some point, watched them both play. When she came back to Plasterex's place, she told him that his game was running faster than Techno's. Techno will eventually be exposed for using slow-mo cheats. While the story is generally true, Scrappy changed a few details to create a funny-sounding narrative which later went viral. Mania Planet 4.1 OP Grass this refers to TM2's update, Mania Planet 4.1, which heavily increased your speed on grass in Dirtin Stadium, breaking several records. This update was then reverted after a few hours. Nadia tried their best to remove as many records as possible with this advantage, but some slower runs inevitably escaped detection. Mowing the grass In Trackmania 2 and Trackmania Turbo, when you drive over long grass you can actually mow it. This mode grass persists between the attempts, allowing you to see what lines you took previously. Once the grass is mowed, it can increase visibility and expose bumps and corners otherwise hidden. You can disable long grass altogether by unchecking Texture Decals 3D and Texture Decals 2D in the launcher. Nadia author doing cut. This is referring to the Nadia medal cutting at the start of Desert E, the final official desert map in TMUF. The cut is rather obvious and easy. So don't expect Hylus to join FWO anytime soon. Bad record. After the slow motion scandal, Nadeo tried to implement an anti-cheat system into TMUF that can detect whether a run was driven legitimately or not. However, a big problem was that the first version detected too many false positives. About three quarters of all runs driven in official mode were considered a bad record by the anti-cheat system. It took a whole month for Nadio to update it, and the solo hunters were very upset because it sometimes took up to 10 tries until your time was valid and could be uploaded to the leaderboards. Spring 2020 Campaign During the alpha phase of Trek Mini 2020, people had access to a campaign called Spring 2020. This campaign consists of 25 tracks with unique maps and more multilaps, unlike other seasonal campaigns. This campaign is still accessible to this day. Envy Mix Envymix refers to tracks where the car you drive with is different from the environment you are currently in. This format is very popular in TMUF, where cars can mix and match with all 7 of the environments and on TM2 with all 10 cars. For example, you may have Coast with the stadium car, leading to the stadium car racing around on all of the Coast blocks. Maps that were not intended to be Envymixed can still be played with other cars using scripts, often leading to a challenging puzzle due to the varying physics between the Trackmania cars. Gambling Mania Link A Mania Link is a page comparable to a web page, but for the networks present in TMUF and TM2. Everyone can create their own Mania Link, but some of them were published by Nadio. Among them are Gambling Mania Links, where you can bet your coppers for a potential gain. The most known Mania Link of this kind is Mania Lotto, where you pay your coppers for free tickets a day. One ticket is equal to one round, where you choose 3 boxes out of 16. If you choose all the 3 correct boxes, you can gain 2000 coppers. 
Puppy Shompy. In 2008, Trackmania Exchange organized a mapping competition in Trackmania United Forever, which was won by Papi Shompy. He was then hired by Nadio to test the next game they planned, Trackmania 2 Canyon. He proceeded to create almost the whole TM2 campaign and did the Trackmania Turbo maps as well. After the game was released in 2016, he quit the studio. Koleo Kaki Koleo Kaki is a series of 111 maps created by the player Epic in Trackmania Nation Forever back in 2013. The map pack is extremely difficult and it is the precursor of the Kaki as Kaki competition. A year later, Shorts will upload a video showcasing all of Epic's Koleo Kaki series, kickstarting the rise of popularity of the Kaki style. Impossible Author Medals in the Trackmania DS game, developed by Firebrand, author medals were driven when the development of the game was still ongoing. Physics of the release version are slightly different, leading to some of the maps having authors that are physically impossible to beat. It also seems Firebrand manually inputted these author times into the final release of the game because there are no ghosts for their times. Trackmania 2020 Beta Physics Prior to its official release, the physics of Trackmania 2020 were quite different. These early versions of the game were only played by Nadia and Alpha testers, and they feature some very strange behavior and bugs. While details are unknown due to the NDA signed by Alpha testers, rumors have it that Ice was faster backwards, among other crazy things. We will have to wait until 2025 for the NDA of this period to expire, so details regarding these early physics will be left uncertain until then. Official mod respawn trick in Trackmania United Forever, you can't respawn between the start and the first respawnable checkpoint. Instead, if you press your respawn button, it's treated as a full restart of the track. This system can be bypassed by playing an official mod. This trick is used on some stunt maps to repeat the first stunt in order to quickly gain points. The respawn trick is rarely used on regular time attack maps to cut them. The Thousand Nine. Trackmania 2 was the first game to show thousands for the times driven. Across all maps and given its small significance, you naturally expect this large digit to be distributed practically equally from 0 to 9. However, it only takes a short look at some leaderboards to see that a 9 as the last digit is much more in common than it should be, often becoming an 8 instead. At the time, in the leaderboards, when the 9 does show up, it does so much more frequently, usually together with a 4. From observing the leaderboards, it seems that a large entry angle into the finish causes this situation, with a left turn into the finish resulting in a 4 or 9 last digit and a right turn in a 2, 5 or 8. Speed, being airborne, to wheeling, the face of the moon or whatever can maybe also influence that last digit. Female driver in Trackmania 2020 the default driver model in Trackmania 2020 is male, however, there is evidence suggesting that a female driver variant could also appear in the game in the future. You can find an in-game option that makes you choose between Stadium female model and Stadium male one. It is unknown whatever the female model will eventually appear in the game. Pre-release track of the day While the game could only be played by streamers and alpha testers, track of the day maps were already a thing. Some of these maps were shown during these streams and can still be played now, but keep in mind that the physics have changed many times since then. Concept Cars As you can imagine, the look of the cars we can play with today are different from their initial concepts. Today, we only know the concept looks of a few cars, such as the Valley car and Trackmania 2020 cars. Stadium Class Different textures often have different physics. Textures which aren't normally encountered tend to inherit some other physics types, normally ruled, but there is one texture, however, that has physics not used in the official block sets in TMNF and TM2 Stadium. Glass. The only place where you can find it naturally in these games is on the stadium roof. The players created blocks using this particular texture. Stadium glass is very slippery and you can barely accelerate. It is worth noting though that the stadium glass has been replaced with normal road texture in Team 2020, making it a very drivable surface. Bay and Island Uber Stadium isn't the only environment where you can do the Uber bug. In fact, you can also do it on Bay and Island. Theoretically, it might be possible on coast because the car can backslide. But as far as we know, we don't have evidence of it occurring. The base of the trick is the same everywhere. Eric Danielski Eric Danielski is known for one particular thing, 
If you happen to watch one of the world record replays from the Trackmania world record channels, there is a high chance that he might appear in the comments section with the sentence, nice world record. He is a frequent commenter, but other than that, he has no known connections to the wider Trackmania community. Midroad and Landmines Even if you drive on a flat surface, you can still clip into the road, leading to a loss of speed and a change of your angle. This bug is usually referred to as a mid-road bug, although if it happens on dirt, it's sometimes also called a landmine. No grip plus freewheel is faster sideways. In 2019, Nadero released the no grip block. In a tweet made by Riolu, he showed that if you combine the no grip effect with freewheel, your car loses less speed by rotating the car 90 degrees and sliding along sideways. This might remind some players of the ice surface in snow, where the same trick applies and it turns out that the same principle applies without the freewheel effect for pretty much every United car. TM Challenge TM Challenge was a weekly trackmare series launched by La Bomba on February 15th, 2015. It lasted for 133 episodes in Trackmania Nation Forever and later returned in Trackmania 2020. The idea was to get the best time on a map chosen by La Bomba in a given time. The best replay were then showcased in the next episode. 100k Project The 100k Project was started by La Bomba and Danix back in 2016 who wanted to collect 100,000 replays on a single Trackmania maps with the help of many other drivers. This project was set to be released in 2018, but a sudden switch of interest in La Bomba's life slowed down the project a lot because he didn't enjoy playing Trackmania and being in front of the PC anymore. In June 2021, the trailer for the project was published, but the project itself has yet to be released. Car Excel Faster on the left side In TMNF TM2, your car accelerates faster on its left wheels. This bug is caused by the way the game calculates your speed. In fact, if your car is on two different surfaces at once, the game uses the acceleration of the surface your left wheels are on. This means that if you drive on a faster surface with your left wheels than on your right ones, your car will accelerate faster than if it was your left wheels on the slower surface. This bug also existed in TM2020, but was patched, but it still works on TMNF and TM2. Welcome to the bottom of the iceberg. We have already reached half of this iceberg, and as of right now, we have reached the point where it's more likely that there are more than half of these entries that are new for you. Guinness World Records Between 2003 and 2008, Trackmania received coverage from several media outlets including the Guinness Book of Records, they received a total of 6 official Guinness World Records in this era, which are Largest content base of any racing game, the Trackmania Exchange Largest online car race First publicly available video game developed for an online competition Most esport tournaments for a racing video game series Most nationalities in an offline racing competition And the most popular video created by a player Island A1 Gold Medal The first island map in TMUF Island A1 has some interesting and strange medal times. The gold medal is normal, with a time of 16.17. The other time, however, is 16.20, which is 3 hundredths of a second slower. Getting the outer medal, but not gold here, plays the animation as if you got gold. This seems to be a slight mistake while driving the gold medal, where nobody realized it was faster than the outer time. Nino Snarts. Nino Snart is one of the earliest Trackmania video makers that had moderate success on YouTube. The channel is owned by the German player Nino, who is most known for creating the famous shortcutting team FWO. His main success came from his YouTube series called Hardcut, where FWO would try to perform a new shortcut on a map that was suggested by one of his viewers. He stopped the Hardcut series at episode 50 and created a new Nadio Cut series, which lasted for 14 episodes and ended on the 24th December 2017. We highly recommend you to check out his videos. They truly embody the early days of Trackmania. OPB and Je rêve d'être un alien. During the 2018 and 2019 Zero Cups, two songs of the cup were made by the community. The first one in 2018, titled Je rêve d'être un alien, or I dream of being an alien, was created by Exakil and is a parody of the song Je t'aime à l'italienne by Frédéric François. The following year, another parody song, OPB, was created by Pantouf. This is a parody of ODD, a rap song from the French band PNL. 
for a long time, these were the most popular songs made by the community about Trequina until recently, where songs were created about the event Kaki es Kaki. Another example of a recent Trackmania music is Welcome to Trackmania, which is a parody of Welcome to the Internet by Bo Burnham. Impossible Trials As mentioned in earlier entry, trial maps are more focused on the difficulty to finish a map rather than finishing quickly. With that logic in mind, some mappers decided to build maps so hard to finish that so far no one ever has. These maps are placed in their own category called Nameless. This category was previously titled Inhuman until the map Uncanny Valley and Caffeine were both beaten by the player Lane. Now, unbeaten maps remain under the Nameless banner until a skilled player is crazy enough to complete them. The maps were validated by setting a time manually, but all the parts of the track have to be proven possible individually. Unknown Turbo Players Until Trackmania 2020 releases on consoles in early 2023, Trackmania Turbo is the only mainstream game of the franchise available on consoles. Without any crossplay of any kind, the console community has stayed mostly separate from the PC community. That coupled with Turbo's atrocious leaderboard system making it hard to find users. Many extremely talented and dedicated players have flown under the radar for the general public, such as Fnatic with over 80 world records, mainly in Canyon Valley, but also a few in Stadium. Also Samer and his 48 of the 50 Lagoon world records, Demedi who was the first console player to get to 200 SCMs and third overall, and also Tornado who has found more cuts and tricks in the game than anyone else. This goes on. This goes to show that not all of the great players in the franchise are popular and that you should always be curious towards styles and games you're not familiar with. Trackmania United, Turbo and TM2 beta maps In many Trackmania games, some maps present on official solo modes are different from their initial beta versions seen in promotional content and early gameplay footage. Many of these changes are up for speculation. However, by speaking with map builders, we have learned the reasoning behind a few of those changes. One such example being that the TMU beta maps were way too short, so many were lengthened when they were re-released in Trackmania United Forever. In TM2, some of the A maps got changed to contain the new blocks, such as the tunnel or multi-lap and dirt. Racence Folder Racence is a German player that has primarily hunted the TMNF solo campaign. He is known for being the player with the most total world records over the years, with over 120 on the 65 official tracks. Most of his activity occurred in the mid-2010s, after which Racence became much more private. This private life involved a folder called Nadio World Records, where he stores every world record he's driven, but hasn't posted on the public leaderboards yet. These times remain secret until June of 2020, where after many months of absence, Racence unveiled a video titled 15 that contained 15 brand new world records on 15 different tracks. To this day, sometimes when a new world record is driven, he will instantly upload a second place time to the leaderboard. Since his secret replay is no longer a world record, there is no need to hide it anymore. When asked recently about this folder, he simply responded by it's not empty. Golf ball surface. This refers to a surface texture called golf ball in the TM2 mesh modeler. As far as we are aware, the texture is not used. It is also known that this texture has surface ID 23. However, Mania Planet 4.1 skips from 22 to 26, so you cannot even use this texture. Survival and Super Survival Mode the survival modes only exist in Trackmania Original, where the goal is to beat target ghost times consecutively on 18 available maps without getting last, like a sort of knockout mode. The super survival mode follows the same principle, however you need to be first every single time to win. When you lose, you restart from the very beginning, making it one of the harder challenges in Trackmania. Freewheel acceleration works. If your speed drops to zero while in freewheel, you'd expect it to be impossible to move any further. However, in Stadium, Bay, Island, Coast, Lagoon, and TM2020, your car still moves extremely slowly if you hold forward. This does not seem to happen in other environments, and for strange reasons, is not in TM2 Stadium either. It is also worth noting this only occurs in Lagoon when the car is on the wood surface. The wooden engine of block has grip, so it doesn't count. In Trackmania Turbo, using acceleration during the free whip can have a big impact. In certain scenarios, if your car is in a free wheel state and you drive to a reverse booster, you will lose less speed if you don't accelerate. While free wheeling, 
holding the accelerators also still has a small effect in the air. Counterfeit coppers and planets. Planets and coppers are the in-game currencies of TM2 and TMUF respectively. These are normally earned by finishing solo maps or through competition, but players found a way to counterfeit them. Planet counterfeiting works via the reward you earned for buying a new official game. Each TM2 game purchased translates to a 5000 planets reward or 25000 planets in total for owning all the 5 games. By abusing Steam's family share system, a counterfeiter is able to share the games to a smurf account, duplicating the reward. This can be repeated up to 5 times every 6 months, allowing for nearly 250,000 planets a year. As for TMUF, coppers can be counterfeited by using the Mania Loto Mania Link. To avoid crashing the copper economy, we won't go into too much details, but by manipulating the lottery, you can trick the system to pay you out the 2000 coppers jackpot every time. With a maximum of 3 attempts per day, you can exploit 6000 coppers daily. Because coppers are useful, counterfeiting in TMUF can be very overpowered. Though luckily, in TM2, planets are mostly useless so this exploit doesn't affect much. Tombug and Trinbug The Tom and Trinbug are TMNF bugs that utilize the lights on the sides of the start block. To perform the Tombug, you need to clip your front wheel behind the traffic light as shown in the video and then pray you clip through. The trim bug is done by using the back wheels, which is the main difference between the two. These bugs are named after their founders, Tommel and Trinity. Sunrise Environment Cam 1 This refers to the camera 1 of the sunrise environments behaving way differently from your usual Cam 1 from other environments. Most notably, this camera will move around left and right depending on the direction of your turn, making for some motion sickness inducing gameplay. This camera change originated from the game Trackmania Sunrise, and the environments features in that game such as Island, Bay and Coast kept the same camera behavior, even when remade in future games like TMUF or TM2. It is unknown as to why the camera was made different for those environments. Analog Break Trick Brake tricking is a technique well known in the canyon and valley communities because of their tap to drift mechanics. In order to brake trick, you are required to press the brake key very quickly, around 300th of a second or less, though it becomes more difficult as your speed increases. A successful brake trick lets the car instantly turn slightly sharper, allowing you to complete corners you otherwise would have to drift for. It is found all over the valley solo campaign, occasionally in canyon, and very, very rarely in lagoon. Some players have even bound brake to analog inputs in order to make brake tricks easier. In Trackmania 2, it was discovered by XP1 Speed that brake can be double bound as both an analog and a digital input. This causes the inputs to cancel each other out and allows for a consistent 1 millisecond brake trick. In Turbo, this double bind bug seems to not exist, as double binding isn't a thing in that game. Custom Block Replacement when creating a map in TM2, if a custom block is used, there is a trick which can cause the track to change for other people. Validate the track as normal and save. Then edit the custom block, just save it under exactly the same name. Your new custom block will be there and the validation too. The map can then be saved and completely changed. Cordanis. Cordanis is Valley's first prolific, legit slash non-obvious cheater who used brake trick macros to take turns completely full speed while other people would need to release or brake heavily. This caused quite a scene in the TM2 forums where even Ryulu himself was fighting for the removal of his times. This was done long ago when only a select few players knew what a brake trick was. Cordanis was banned after players discovered his online times were illegitimate since they could not be validated by using the replay tool. TM in TikTok Due to their satisfying nature, many press forward maps are seen on social media like TikTok or Instagram. They often feature this gameplay in the background and have some sort of text to speech reading out a Reddit post or something unrelated to Trackmania. The vast majority of these videos are ripped from either Al for Bomb 4 or Yogosun's YouTube channels, and since no permission is ever given, the use of these videos is stealing. In fact, l for bomb 4 has already made a video addressing the topic. Nobody wants to see their hard work stolen. Tool assisted speedruns beaten by humans. Since the inception of the task tool, almost every official map has been tasked, often using extremely fast and impossible tricks. On very rare occasions, however, humans were able to beat the task time by finding new strategies. For example, this happened on TMNF's AO1, where the task made by Donadigo in 2020 with a time of 2381 was beaten by Lacadel, 
with a 2380 in 2022. Although the TAS on AO1 had been improved by the time Lacadel drove this record, he still managed to beat a time that was thought to be impossible only two years ago. On non-official maps, beating the TAS occurs more frequently because these TASs tend to be less optimized. Moving blocks. On June 12, 2021, Nadio released a brand new game mode for Trackmania 2020 called Royal. The update introduced two new surfaces, plastic and water, as well as moving blocks. Nadio originally announced that these moving blocks will be synchronized server side, but this was considered a bad move because it meant you could time your restarts to get a better time on some maps. These concerns pushed Nadio to reevaluate the feature and they would eventually change the blocks to synchronize client side. There are also moving blocks in other games, for example the windmills in TMUF and TM2 lag hitboxes. The train in TM2 Valley is client side and has a hitbox. There also exists an official instance of moving blocks. In February 2020, the developer Donadigo released a YouTube video about an open planet plugin that is able to move blocks with custom settings. Deep Fear No Respawn Deep Fear is an infamous TMN a full speed map created by Winty, which took over 500 hours to build. Completing the track without crashing requires insane precision, patience, memorization, and effort. Many people thought the legendary sub 10 minute run would never happen. That was until October of 2022, when after two and a half years and 800 hours of grinding, Mada became the first person to complete Deep Fear, without respawning in under 10 minutes. Question marks online. When playing online in Track Me in Nations Forever, if you finish a run on the exact frame the time attack server stops, the game will show you the normal animation of a finished run, but instead of a time the game will present you with question marks. It is possible this bug is due to the game attempting to count run times at the last frame while still checking for a finish which results in the game not knowing exactly what to display. Nadeo in leaderboards. The unlock cheat code is not the only cheat code existing in TMUF. There is another one called Ghosts, which unlocks the hidden Ghost Editor by doing the same method for the unlock cheat code but inputting Ghost instead. This editor allows you to create and edit replays that will be available as Ghost target times to play against on your own maps, just like on any Nadeo map in the campaign. However, by doing this, you also trigger a glitch that will duplicate all of your leaderboard entries and the duplicate will be named Nadeo. Those duplicate times will show up only locally and will be gone after you restart the game. TM2 Memleek With the release of Mania Planet 4, Nadeo changed the TM2 netcode to the Trackmania Turbo netcode, which contained extra game modes such as ones with power-ups like tiny cars and big cars and more. The issue with this new netcode is it, that it causes a memory leak on any server that runs for long enough in a single round, like endurance races. The longer the round and the bigger the amount of players playing, the more memory will be taken up. At some point, the game will begin to bug out. Bugs that have been known to happen include making everyone restart automatically, resetting timers, server crashes, or the funniest thing, making your car tiny or huge. Again, a leftover from the Turbo Netcode. You can mitigate the server collapse by allocating more RAM to a server, but with enough time and strength, this fate is inevitable. Driving through walls. In Trackmania 2, sometime between the Mania Planet 3 and Mania Planet 4 updates, a bug caused blocks placed in Ghost Mode to lose their collision geometry, so you could drive straight through them. This made a majority of custom maps prior to the new update unplayable due to the route having holes in the blocks. This bug also impacted many campaign maps such as Canyon AO4, which were promptly fixed by Nadio. Custom maps were not so lucky. However, Project GPU, led by Ibo among other MX crew members, was a project that sought to upgrade all of the broken maps on Mania Exchange. This was done through a batch converter that was able to convert maps to Mania Planet 4 without affecting the map's UID. This entry also refers to a very strange bug that happened when the player simply nick on a khaki map, just path through the wall without any explanation why it occurred. As the deep dive into the Trackmania lore continued, we have reached the point where the iceberg is barely visible. Things aren't just learned passively, you must research them. Nadeo Oil In Trackmania Turbo, Nadeo Oil is a recurring fictional company with its logo over many of the blocks, such as the boosters. 
It is heavily implied that all the Trackmania turbo cars are powered by Nadea oil, though it is unconfirmed on whether this resource is what makes the cars unrealistically fast. Despite the cars running on some form of oil, they will never run out and will stay powered forever. Canyon Wall Grip If your car is angled right, it is possible to drive up a vertical concrete wall with the Canyon car. This is achieved by jumping to wall to wall, landing on it with just two wheels, and then steering up the wall. This grip is held for only a short period of time, but it can be used to gain extra height compared to a normal wall ride. The bottom of the map. This entry refers to the void of the Trackmania map. In TMNF, if you drive off the stadium, it takes about 2 minutes to reach the bottom of the map. The TMNF stadium is surrounded by a giant sphere, which you can collide with and drive on. In the other games, it takes a few minutes to reach the end of the skybox and then you just fall into the void. EU3 Run Without Bug EU3 is a dirt multi-lapper from the TMNF solo campaign that takes about 5 minutes to finish. This track is infamous for its invisible landmines and in its almost 15 years of existence, nobody has ever gotten a world record without land bugging at least once. The map is so buggy that a no bug run that uses risky lines will probably never happen. Over 1000 km an hour Simply put, it's impossible to have a speed higher than 1000 km an hour. However, sometimes there is a chance that when your car is boosted by, for example, an Uber bug, the UI shows a speed higher than this limit for a very short time. This is just a visual bug though. The physical speed of the car is limited at 1000 km an hour. Freecam Hyperspeed while in Freecam, if you are to toggle between directions without releasing the previous key, the camera acceleration has no cap. Utilizing this mechanic allows for a single key toggle to transport the camera over the length of the map and beyond near instantly. Despite this knowledge, parallel universes and time travel in Trackmania are yet to be discovered. Trackmania 2 Platform The platform game mode is an official mode that is playable in multiple Trackmania games where the goal is to complete a map with jumps and obstacles and the fewest respawns. Time is no factor in platform. This mode was also present for Trackmania 2 Canyon through a separate title pack. However, Nadio didn't do the same for Valley, Stadium, or Lagoon, and the Canyon title pack even disappeared from the in-game store and was later uploaded by community member Arcady. TMO Map Sizes You build maps in a square in every Trackmania game, except for Trackmania Original. In fact, in this game you can choose between three different sizes, 30x30, 30 30, 20x60, and 10x150. Maps built in Trackmania Original can be imported into other Trackmania games and the rectangular grid remains and you can even build with it. Original names of environments The environments you probably know as Snow and Desert were originally called Alpine and Speed, as seen in the game files and folder names. This was paid tribute to an unbeaten studio's custom title packs for TM2 by the same names. The desert car and island car are referred to as American and sport car respectively. It contrasts to the other cars which take their names from the environment. Lagoon Coaster Fix When Trackmania 2 Lagoon was introduced in 2017, it quickly became apparent that acceleration on coaster tracks was broken. If you went straight, you'd get a speed boost. If you didn't go straight, you'd also get a speed boost. In order to solve this, Nadio pushed a patch to fix the issue in coaster acceleration. Now, instead of speed boosts being in every corner of the game, speed boosts existed in every corner of the game and they were insanely overpowered. For whatever reason, Nadio never reverted this patch. Island Teleport Bugslide On island, bugslides can be very powerful. They're called TP Bugslides because you gain so much speed in an instant that it almost seems like you're teleporting. The trick works by perfectly landing in a 90 degree angle like a normal bugslide and then you just get a super hard zoop. There's a different version of this trick called delayed TP Bugslide which is when you land above 90 degrees and then snap back into 90 degrees which gives a bigger zoop and is more controllable. This trick was discovered around 2014 but it was just recently used to destroy almost every island campaign map in TMUF. IQ Cup The IQ Cup was a past funding based cup organized in 2019 by the player Rolin. The concept of that cup was to play on an unknown map built by Rolin with random checkpoints, blocks and scenery. Everyone played on the same server in time attack mode for the first phase where the goal was to find the best way possible. Then the map was played again in cup mode and the player with the best way will easily beat the other players. The cup was won by Firestorm and this cup was sadly never organized again. TM2 Canyon was supposed to be Valley. 
In the very first trailer showing off what TM2 would be like, the environment shown was Valley, but driven with what we now know as the Canyon car. It seems a change of plan took place though, as Canyon was in fact the first environment to release in 2011, with Valley only releasing two years later in 2013. Rally E Author Middle On this map, the car goes through a tree at the 120 minute mark. This is due to the fact that this middle was driven in Trackman United, released in 2005, and that with the TMUF update in 2007, the tree's geometry and placement were changed. The middle runs were obviously not redriven with the new update, leading to the ghost car driving through the tree. WikiHow Tutorial WikiHow Tutorial refers to an article entitled How to Get Pro in Trackman Nation, apparently written by 16 authors, which explain in 6 steps how to get better at the game. This article is interesting because it explains the different Trackmare technique in a unique way. For example, the authors called the Rennstein the Ramstone, and we can read of things such as Power Slide and Pulsative Slide, which are the technique that most Trackmare players use on daily basis, but absolutely no one calls them that in the Trackmare community. First TM 2020 High Quality Trailer When TM 2020 was first announced at Talion Esport 2020, the first trailer of the game was revealed to the public on the scene of the event. The high quality trailer was only visible by Alpha members on the Ubisoft launcher. One day the trailer got leaked online but was copyright claimed and got taken down. Since the release, the high quality trailer is lost and the trailer that got uploaded on YouTube is a resized version from Zero to Stream VOD he uploaded on his YouTube channel. Original Valley Car the Valicar prototype design, made in December 2011, turned out to be very similar to the Mini Cooper, which later resulted in changing the car model to the one that's in the Trackmania 2 Valley to avoid any copyright infringements. Some TMUF medals have a name. In every Trackmania game, when you play against the author medal, its name will be named Nadio. In reality, the name is just changed, but sometimes they forgot to rename the replay file revealing who drove the medal. For example, in stand D1, the middle name is Alinoa. She used to work at Nadio. Trackmania Sunrise GP30 Ghost On the campaign of Trackmania Sunrise Extreme, there is a map called Grand Prix 30, which is an endurance map with 30 laps on the coast environment. The funny thing is that around the 26th lap, the author metal ghost just stops and never visually finishes the map. We have finished part 2 of this massive iceberg. Thank you so much for all the kind words about part 1. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as you did with previous one. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment, we will answer them. You can consider subscribing to the channel to not miss the last part. Thank you for watching and have a great day.